Hi everyone, Chris Ninn here, Cycle BMW, uh, here with Bike Social, and I'm here next to Hutchie's bike, because he's more famous than me. And I'm going to run you through just some tips, I guess, to uh, make you a better rider on track. Let's uh, talk about one of the uh, most important things, and that is applying the brakes. Now, I said brakes and pointed at the front one. We're going to do at least 90% of our braking with the front brake. Now, the main thing to remember when braking, if you're in a straight line, you can be confident to pull that brake almost as hard as you dare. And then as you start to apply any kind of angle, you want to release. So basically, as your bike starts to tip into the corner like that, your brake's gonna go from lots of pressure to less. Because as you've got angle, the less pressure you can apply without the front folding. So yeah, as long as you're confident, nice straight line, find your braking point, pull it on, and then as you start to tip into a corner, the finger's gonna release. Simple. One thing that I do often get asked about when I'm doing uh, track day coaching is about foot position and uh, where you put your feet on the pegs. So basically, most of the time you want to have it so you've got the centre of your foot on the pegs. The reason for that is because obviously what you need to do is you need to work gears and brakes. Then when we're going around the corner, the inside foot wants to be on the ball. And the reason we want to be on the ball is so that then you can move around and pivot. If we keep on there, then there's no way that we can actually get our knee out, so it hinders your position. Probably one of the most important things, if not the most important thing about your bike, are these things, tires. Hopefully, that's the only thing on your bike that's ever gonna to touch the ground. Generally on a track day, there'll be some kind of tire assistance truck. So go over there and have a chat with them, and they'll tell you what sort of pressures to run. One of the most important things to do with tires is to make sure they're warm. The best thing to get any heat into tires is speed. Try and warm them up in a straight line, plenty of speed, get plenty of heat into them, but then do be careful on the first few laps, given any kind of angle, and also any kind of brake, front and rear brake at all, cold tires don't like it. It uh, might sound really obvious, but a very important thing is where you look. You've got your three main points. You've got your brake point, you've got your apex, and you've got your exit. You need to get your brake point first. That is the real important one. A brake point is a nice, safe place where you know you're going to be able to decelerate in time. Then you've got your apex. We talked about it before, how you can have late apexes, early apexes. You need to pick the right point. But you're going to work that out, and each track's different, and every corner's different. And then you've got the exit point. So they're the three places that you do need to look. And if you concentrate on just those specific things, it'll make you a better rider, because what you're doing is you're minimising all the amount of things that you're having to do. Your brain's got to process riding a bike, so try not to add a load of other things into that process. So they're my tips for better track riding. Hopefully you've found it all useful. If there's anything that we've missed out, then uh, just comment below or get in touch at Bennett's underscore bike on Twitter. I hope you all enjoy your track time out. Enjoy and uh, catch you soon.